All right, I'm glad that you're still with me as we continue. Uh, we're getting close to the end of the haul. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to share with you is this cool postcard. I hope it shows up on video uh, like it does in person. It's kind of got like a, a neat effect to it, almost like a 3D effect with the characters in 2019. It's a postcard and my thought on this, I saw it and I just really thought it was really neat, is I plan to do a pin board and use this maybe in the center of the pin board and then all around it wanted to include my 2019 pins. I have the New Year's pin and the 2019 Jumbo pin from Shop Disney. I have like our spring break pin. I have several of them that don't fit into a specific collection but they're all special events or special times that we've had together as a family. So I thought, oh, that would be cool. I'll do like a 2019 uh, pin board and use this maybe as, as the central um, piece in the middle. So that's kind of my plan now. So we'll see how that comes together as uh, the year unfolds. We had the opportunity to go to Disney Springs um, Brian isn't a huge Disney Springs fan. He would rather be in the parks, but I did convince him to go when we could eat at the Polite Pig, which is known for like its smoked brisket. Uh, Brian enjoys um, using our green egg to smoke some different meats and he's been enjoying learning about that. So we had uh, a good meal there and then, well, since we're there, you know, I just had one or two places to stop by and that worked out really well. One of them is the Wonderground Gallery and they have some amazing artwork there. Um, I picked up several postcards there and some of the postcards I'll keep for our family for either pin boards or maybe frame and, and put up as decoration. And some of them I'll use for um, different gifts, uh, but I'd like to share those with you. The first one is actually a four pack of the postcards and it has the classic attractions. There's the Journey into Imagination with Figment, Explore Deep Down to 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, but I really purchased it because there's a Carousel of Progress one and the People Mover. So these are just like little versions of them. There's the Carousel of Progress and the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And we have the Figment and the People Mover. So they're actually full-size postcards and I'm not taking them out because they're not wrapped. Like I said, some of these items are, are gonna be gifts. So that is the first one. This one is awesome. We have Orange Bird. He's actually got a dull whip on his head. <laughs> I think that the postcards, um, it's $4.99 for a postcard and they're just really nice quality. They're printed on very nice heavyweight um, material and the color saturation, saturation and the quality is really nice. So these just are very nice to me to frame and to have that without committing to, you know, a very expensive piece of art. Uh, I got Lady and the Tramp. So that is uh, such a sweet one. Might use that as a centerpiece for my Disney dogs collection. I don't have a big collection, but I do have a, a few of the items. I do have a Lady and the Tramp pin, so that might be fun. I've got Hipster Mickey Mouse. <laughs> This is uh, such a neat one. There's a family at the bottom, and if you see they're enjoying It's a Small World. And this is great, because it reminds me of when we sit in the boat and then right when you start off uh, the ride. So that's very sweet. I like, the, um, I like the colors in that. So I found another Wonderground Gallery postcard, but it was actually at the Polynesian Resort gift shop. And we got Stitch, and he's in a hammock with his ukulele and just so, so cute. So very fitting. Another one I found, but not at the Wonderground Gallery. This was at the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. And there is the scene that I love so much with the Disney, or with the dog holding the keys in the jail scene. And then there's some other scenes from the Pirates of the Caribbean. And so the purples I thought were a really neat take on that. And then the last postcard here, I actually got at Memento Mori, which was the gift shop at the end of Haunted Mansion. And uh, this one says, ghostly greetings, hurry back. 
And I really love that it has Mickey and Minnie on a doom buggy. I actually have a pin of Mickey and Minnie on a doom buggy. So this is really cool. I'm not sure if I'll use this on a pin board with that pin. Um, haven't quite decided yet or if there'll be gifts, but um, these, the artwork that they have changes over time. So you could go back, I don't know how often it changes, but you could go back and they won't have these same items. It, it uh, is different. So it's good to pick something up when you see it because if you come back in another six months, uh, they may not have that same item available. So that's why I kind of snatched them up and we'll hold on to some of them. Okay, are you ready for the next item? This isn't mine but this is something that Noah purchased with his souvenir money. He got the green alien popcorn bucket. <laughs> the detail on this is great. The, um, let's see the best way to show this. The ribbon has the different scenes of the different aliens on it and it's printed on both sides and it does come off. You can unhook the strap and it also has a clip on the strap, so if you wanted to unhook it and put it around a stroller or something that didn't just go over your head, that's an option. And he's got so many details. Noah and Abraham really appreciated this Pizza Planet logo with the little toppings on the pizza. And just so darling. I uh, just love his head, <laughs> shine of his head. <laughs> And then he's got his little feet and the bottom is flat. He stands up nicely. And then to open him up, you open his mouth and dun -da -da, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> there's still popcorn. Uh, we did have him filled, but Noah's been munching on the popcorn. And uh, he is fun to talk to like, ooh, I am the chosen one, the claw. <laughs> So we made him sing and do all kinds of um, fun things. And then he um, goes back, closes up so the popcorn doesn't fall out. And he is just a lot of fun. So that is, uh, is a very happy item. And the next thing I wanna show you is another popcorn bucket. Uh, this is the one that we got like originally as a, like to share as a family. And it has that awesome Mickey birthday print on it. Love the vibrant colors and the just the festive feel to it. it. Does have Pluto on it, and then we couldn't understand exactly why Mickey was on it like two times, because <laughs> there's Mickey and Mickey and Minnie and Minnie. So uh, it's got the birthday cake and Pluto, and this one is the black lid and. Oh, we still have a, a little bit of popcorn. We filled them as we were leaving uh, Magic Kingdom <laughs> so that we could bring some, some popcorn home. Oh, oh, it smells so good. So since we're filming this, uh, the day that we, after we got home, we still have a little bit <laughs> lingering in there. So it's really good. Um, we were looking at the bucket, at this bucket, and we were kind of saying, well, is it worth it? You know, we're only gonna be here for like five days or in you know and in the parks and stuff and then I was like it's ten dollars and every refill is two dollars and we eat a lot of popcorn like we'll refill this eat it and then when we get to the next popcorn cart we'll refill it again like we love popcorn and I started thinking about it and I'm like one slice of cake at the or cupcake is like six bucks so ten dollars and then the $2 refills is a good value for, for our family uh, because we do enjoy it so much. And I don't mind carrying it. I just use a carabiner or something and clip it onto my backpack or the handle actually. Um, and then you can actually just clip it onto your backpack if you don't have a, a carabiner or a hook or anything. So we love the, the popcorn and it's, um, it's a good value for our family because we do enjoy it. Okay, next up. We've got a Luxo ball. Uh, this is uh, a souvenir that Abraham picked out and it was good. He bounced them one time each in the store to make sure that it was a high bounce one and that the paint was just right. And we got so much fun out of this ball. We um, played catch and tossed it around in the room and in the 
you know, areas outside. And then while I did some filming for the YouTube channel, Brian and the boys played ball like outside of the little shop. And they just, we just had a lot of fun with it. So this was a great souvenir and, uh, and it's so colorful and, and just like, you know, reminds us of Toy Story Land. So that was a lot of fun. So I wanted to show you um, a souvenir that Brian purchased. This is a baseball style hat and it says Mickey through the years, established 1928. Uh, this hat looks very flattering on Brian, has the, the nice bill with the two-tone color. And my favorite part about this hat is that it's very Disney. And right here is my favorite part. Mickey through the years. We've got the Steamboat Willie Mickey, all the different Mickeys through the years. Isn't that cool? And the back is a, a Velcro adjustment. So this is a really flattering hat and I, I just like it. So it's a perfect match for Brian. It is definitely Disney, but it's not too like over the top or, or obnoxious Disney. So uh, very nice, very nice choice. He got a lot of wear out of his hat during our, our trip. Okay, I have um, my two favorite things I'm gonna wait till the end to show you, but I thought some of you might be interested in my bag haul. <laughs> Now this is different from a bag haul of Jeannie and Burke or Loungefly, but as you may have known, they are try Disney is trying to be more uh, environmentally conscious, and so rather than doing the plastic bags, which you can still get, they have an option where you can purchase um, a reusable bag, and it is great. There's three different sizes, so. Um, this is the smallest size bag, and this is from Magic Kingdom, and it's great. It's got Space Mountain, it's got um, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, it's got Small World and Mickey on it, and then it has uh, short handles. This size bag is a dollar, so I think that's reasonable. And then you have this next size, which is this one. I'll show you the same, the Magic Kingdom bag. So you've got the castle, and it says Magic Kingdom. You've got Space Mountain again, Big Thunder Mountain, Mickey, and Small World. This version is $1.50, and this was the perfect size. So when we made purchases, um, things fit nicely in here without being too giant. They had an even larger size bag, which was $2. Um, I decided to get this size because I also thought I would use it for grocery shopping as well. Um, this version is Mickey Winking, and you can see it's from Disney Springs. So that is a silvery gray one. This one is from Hollywood Studios. Got the Tower of Terror. And you've got the Luxo Ball and the Green Army Men. You've got Mickey, Star Wars, and this. <laughs> All right. The next one is um, Animal Kingdom. I'll show you the Animal Kingdom side first. Nice. It's kind of the Earth Tony colors. And then on the back, you've got Expedition Everest, you've got the Rhino or maybe Kilimanjaro Safaris, you've got the Dinosaur segment represented, and again, a Mickey Mouse. And then finally, this one is from Epcot. So very nice, you got the futuristic black and silver gray colors. And you've got World Showcase represented, and Mission Space, the Monorail, and Mickey Mouse. So I thought that those were, were really fun. Um, for $1.50, it was really great because once you purchased a souvenir, then you had kind of a catch-all lightweight bag um, to just toss things into. So uh, that worked out really well. And like I said, I'm planning to use those because I take the reusable grocery, reusable bags in a lot of times for grocery shopping. Okay, I have two more items, the last two things to show you. And they're probably my two uh, favorite things. One is, this guy! <laughs> this is one of the Little Green Men or the Toy Story Aliens. And look at this detail. He's got those cute eyes and look at his mouth and his little ears. And again, this head. I don't know why it's so, so cute. 
and we've got the Pizza Planet logo embroidered in there. He's got the purple collar and his little outfit on and his little hands. <laughs> I didn't even know they made a plush. His legs are kind of stitched together here. I didn't know that they made this as a plush. I hadn't um, seen it before and when I looked like on Shop Disney and even the Parks app, I. I hadn't seen it and um, Abraham brought it up to me and I was just like oh <laughs> I didn't know and it, it's just uh, he makes me so happy with his colors and his expression um, so I just had to get him and he rode with us on Alien Swirling Saucers and Slinky Dog Dash and Tower of Terror and all the rides and so that is fun and then um, he's a good snuggle buddy and uh and lots of fun because i do have a soft spot for plushes yes i'm an adult <laughs> but i still love them and i want to hug them i can't help it and so my last item to share with you is also a plush i found a steamboat willy mickey it's a new one and this is called cozy knits and they had a couple different characters in it including mickey uh, a similar steamboat uh, willy version of minnie mouse they had Pinocchio and also Oswald. So I'm gonna give you a close up of Mickey. And he is, I thought his, his face was really cute. I don't know, is it, it's, there you go. And I don't know, it's like wider than usual or something, but he's got his hat, his Steamboat Willie hat on. And it looks like he's like knit. He's got his buttons on and his hands are really cute. He's got his shorts on and his feet. And then on the back, um, his ears are just really cute too. He's got the buttons on his shorts back here. And he, let me grab the uh, original plush Mickey Mouse that is knit. So I have this one from, I don't know, a year or two ago. And this is the one that I got on this trip. So there's quite a difference in size. And he's uh, just the right size. So I love them all. I love them both. And uh, I got lots of buddies to snuggle with and I share them with the boys too. And uh, they're one of those uh, fun things that is uh, unique to Disney. They put a lot of detail into their plushes and I really appreciate that and that they're, they're snuggly too. So, whew, thanks for sticking with me and uh, going shopping with me. Do you have a favorite item from today? Are you a popcorn bucket collector or a postcard collector or art collector from Wonderground? Or do you like the merchandise, like the mugs that is specific to events? Or are you a plush collector? So let me know in the comments down below. I don't know if I have a favorite. I definitely like the plush. Um, it was probably one of my highlights. <laughs> And Disney allows you to be a kid. That's a good thing about Disney. Um, you can, uh, you know, you can just be a kid and just enjoy, enjoy things like that. So thank you for joining in, me and shopping with me. And I hope you have a great week and smile.